Hi, now I'm talking about the, uh, the Advanced Motion Measurement Walkabout 6D system and we've got our golfer hooked up on the system now. Why don't you go ahead and get into the address position and we'll actually show how we capture a swing. You can see that he's tetherless, he could walk around anywhere, he's got three sensors, one on the club, one on the shoulders, and one on the hips. Alright, we put the system now into what we call live mode so that we're ready to capture. And um, are you ready? Yep. Alright, go ahead. That's all there is to capturing a swing. It's quick and easy. Now I just give it a file name, save that, and then it pulls up the whole data set of what we just captured. We can actually make this screen larger and then we can watch the swing. So you can see that we have four, three sensors, one on shoulders or the upper body, one on the hips and one on the club. So we can really see the motion. It's 3D, so we can look at the front, we can turn it to the back, we can rewind it, we can even look view from the top. So if I pull that down now, we can actually play it and we can watch it as if we've got a, a vision from the top there. We can go into good. We can go into the front view and we can go into what we call multiple mode. So we can watch the pattern of motion of the club. Boom. And in addition to being able to view the swing from any direction, we've got the data, what we call six degrees of freedom. We can look at angles of the pelvis or the hips, angles of the rib cage, or we call it the thorax, and then positions as well. We can also look at the wrist angle to see whether he's casting. And most important of all, we can look at what we call the kinematic sequence, which is the sequence of efficiency. We have hip turn speed, shoulder turn speed, arm swing speed, and club swing speed. And we can look to see if the sequence is correct and if he's generating energy and power correctly from the ground up through to the club head.